Hi, my name's Todd. I'm an abolitionist. All right, people. Look, man, here, here we go. Okay, we're going to be talking about the Frontline Project here. We already did the video on how to prep for the Frontline Project, what to do. All right, so go check out that video if you haven't seen it. Now I want to talk about being right-minded and in the spirit when you're out there. This is very important, all right? Remember that the people that come out to argue with you, the people that come out mad at you, are the people that you get to interact with the most. Be right-minded. See the pain that they have, the hurt that they have, understand why they're coming out, and minister to them. Remember, abolitionists are not trying to end abortion. Abolitionists are sharing the gospel of Christ. We're just using abortion as the most darkest evil place in our country today and shining the light of Christ on it and reconciling Christianity with legal abortion. That's what we're doing. So when someone comes out, they may be a Christian or they may not be a Christian. If they're not a Christian, we want to lead them to Christ. If we just convince them that abortion is wrong and they should vote against abortion and they would never now have an abortion where before they would, and that's it, you have failed. And the reason you have failed is because you did not go far enough. The reason abortion is wrong is because each child is created in the image of God. And you have to reconcile killing an image of God to Christ. That's what you have to do. So, the only way that you can do that is make that person understand, all right? You have to make them understand in the spirit. You have to speak to their conscience and make them understand that God loves them. And they have value, just like that child has value, that unborn child. And the reason it's wrong to kill it is because God died for it. So it would not have to perish. The child would not have to perish. It can have everlasting life. That person that's talking to you is not saved, right? The unsaved person. So we can shine the light of the gospel on this and use this as an opportunity to witness to them. That's why you sacrifice your time. That's why you're preaching the gospel. It, we don't want to just convince them that killing babies is wrong. Why killing babies is wrong is what we want to convince them of. All right. So if a non-Christian, an atheist, or anybody else who hates God is coming out and is angry at you, don't get angry back. Understand we're there for them. If a Christian comes out and talks to you, you have to make them reconcile how killing a child is okay before God. How their apathy is okay before God. What does Christianity look like in a town that kills babies every day? How does that look in your life? It's not a calling. We're not talking about a calling. We're talking about being Christian. And what you'll find out is there's a lot less Christians than we believed. So what we do is we use abortion with Christians and we make them reconcile their apathy. That's what we do. We need to preach the gospel to these people. They need to understand God's heart is that none of these children perish. None of them perish. We cannot be apathetic ourselves to Christians. Remember, we're not trying to just expose abortion. All right? Abortion is the evil that has crept into our society allowed by the church today. So we need to wake up these Christians. Wake up this sleeping giant to defend the defenseless, to stand in the gap, to protect those being led to slaughter. All right? Do not go out there just to be a loud gong. All right? Because that's what you'll be if you do not present Christ and Christ's love to these people. Now, one thing I like to do is for the prideful, I give them the law. 
And for the humble, all right, I give them grace. I lift them up. You're going to find all kinds of people there. Be discerning. Understand who Christ is there in front of those people, in front of that school. Be the representation of Christ. The Holy Spirit will give you things to say. Don't say things just because you're excited or because somebody makes you mad or upset. All right? Be prayerfully minded. Be in the Spirit. Understand who you are in Christ and what we're doing. And things will be amazing, I promise you. You'll see lives change. If you have any questions or need help or need prayer, give us a call. Get a hold of one of us, all right? I would love to talk to you and help you in any way possible. Please remember to try to film everything also. Filming does two things. It records for future um, teaching and exhortation, all right? Allows you to see what you said. When I record myself, I'm like, that was the dumbest thing I ever said in my life. You know, I have to not say that anymore. So I learn stuff from it, right? And the second thing it does is it keeps, it helps keep the peace. Somebody won't be as crazy or nuts or, or violent if they know it's all being filmed. Hopefully you won't go out by yourself. But if you are by yourself, remember you're not alone. Christ is with you. And the reason I can say that is I can testify it. Because most all the time, I am out there by myself. And it is a beautiful time. It is a holy time. I wish I had brothers and sisters I could share this with while I was out there. We'll be praying for you guys. We love you guys. We're so excited. God bless you all.